Well, I got a hot, cheap hotel tip for you. Boron actually put out stuff on this before, but it was more uh, along the lines of arthritis and joint pain. And um, that's where this mineral was discovered that the lack of this mineral would cause, you know, joint pain and arthritis and things like that. You might be having problems walking and all this kind of garbage, which I don't have, but, um, you know, maybe I don't take enough boron because I looked at... Um, even what's on this thing here, trace minerals, if you take three tablets of it, you have 2.5 milligrams. So they're saying here in this study, boron, 10 milligrams of boron taken for seven consecutive days, increased free testosterone levels, and that's the kind you want, the free testosterone levels, by almost 30%. It actually was 28%, and decreased estrogen by almost 40%. Now, in females, all it does is normalize the hormonal balances. It doesn't necessarily give those type of results. This was in males. Inflammation also drops significantly. Now, inflammation is not something that's just due to, that's something that actually just causes joint pain. But inflammation, in a, in a roundabout way, is the cause of all diseases. Now, I don't know when you're talking about inflammation was dropped significantly. They're looking at some biomarkers, so I don't know if it's across the board, but you know, still, it's worth noting. Infant boron will also drastically improve arthritic and nervous system conditions, and that is really where uh, I think it was a doctor out. He was a PhD and a doctor. He was a medical doctor, but a DO, I think it was, in Australia some years ago. He was taking borax, which is, you know, borax soap, you know, but I'm not telling you to take that. This was a supplement I got off of Puritan's Pride. I think it's about five, six bucks. They're not much money. These are very cheap to take. This is a three milligram dosage. So they're talking, you know, 10 milligrams for seven days. So maybe say nine, take three of them, divide up doses. But, you know, it might be something whereby... You know, free testosterone has a lot to do with, you know, your strength. It really does. Your overall vitality uh, for males especially. Now, this, this study is not really related to females, but again, with females, it just or normalizes the hormonal balance. So whatever you're out of whack with, with hormones, it's going to fix. And, you know, one of the big things you really got to look at is inflammation. The other thing is, deficiency of boron may cause abnormal uh, metabol met metabolism of calcium and magnesium. So, if you're not metabolizing magnesium, you're not getting your vitamin D levels up because magnesium is essential to getting your vitamin D levels up. See how everything works together? If you're missing one little thing, you could be all screwed up. It's not like one thing is a magic every damn thing. Sometimes one thing is like magic for a person if you are missing that one thing. But everything works together. Vitamin D is such a powerful vitamin that really it's labeled a hormone. But if you take higher doses of vitamin D, you want to take it with K2. Now one of the problems we got with our foods today is that the soils are depleted. You might have a robust growth of vegetable plant life, but it's not uptaking all the old trace minerals that used to be in the soils. And if you look at longevity on this planet, a lot of times the best long-lived places are where there's a lot of trace minerals in the soil, which might be from glacier mountain runoff, uh, or maybe coral calcium that's from the sea, that's in the coral dust that contains not just coral calcium, but various minerals that are from the plant life from the dead coral that gets in the soil so you know it's a good idea to take the trace minerals but like I said like this dosage of trace minerals has a whole host of different things it's got uh, magnesium in it and it's upside down <laughs> it's got cut well it's got iron magnesium sodium well you don't need sodium but you got potassium because everybody's got lots of sodium um, alfalfa, kelp, it's got iodine, selenium, boron, it's got 72 trace elements, but if you look at, you know, one pill is not the actual dosage, it's three capsules, so three capsules of this is 
2.5 milligrams of boron, which is helpful. But, you know, if you're talking, you know, you want to try doing 10 milligrams for seven days, you know, not maybe 10 milligrams every day for 365 a year, but honestly, if you look at some of the other studies, uh, free testosterone increased drastically even with more boron, mm, more than the 10 milligrams. Now, I know that some people take the borax, which I don't think isn't toxic, but I know the doctor that initially found out about this stuff and he was taking it and it cured all his problems with arthritis, and he was a doctor, I forgot his name, in Australia, he got in trouble for taking take borax, which is the soap, you know. I'm not telling you to take that, <laughs> but you know, take, you know, in a supplement you could buy over the counter. Um, that this is a good brand, but that's only going to have 2.5 milligrams of boron for three capsules. So you might want to take this and a couple of these, which would equal 8.5 if you took three of those and two of those during the day. But like I said, it works, everything works together. Like if you take a bunch of vitamin D, that's not good to do if you take too much of that unless you're taking the kite K2 with it. And then if you don't take magnesium with all that, the vitamin D doesn't work to increase, you know, do its magic like a hormone, which actually can reduce the probability of cancer, believe it or not, with vitamin D. It can do repair a lot of things. But you can't metabolize magnesium if you have a severe dis deficiency of boron. So it's like all this stuff works together. So you know it's best to, and you just can't say eat a balanced diet. That worked back, you know, 150 years ago, when um, people were using fertilizer that was horse manure, right? Things like that. Fine, you're okay then. But you know when you're using like uh, potassium, there's like only three different things you need for in balances for plants to grow. There's like potassium nitrates or something, something else. I forgot what they are. But that's to make the plants grow. That's not to give us the, the trace minerals because the plants uptake the trace minerals and if the trace minerals don't contribute to making a plant grow hardier and healthier. It only needs three different things, three essential you know, minerals in different balances depending on what the vegetable is or the plant is but your body needs 72 essential trace minerals. So, if you if the plant doesn't uptake those, because somebody's uh, you know most of the people today they're just learned about it. they just want to do is even organic farming. You want to just put whatever's necessary to make you have the most bushels or whatever or the number of pounds production because that's what you're selling. They don't sell by you know, the number of trace elements that are in the plant, because that has nothing to do with how the plant grows, but we uptake those trace animal, a, a trace elements in the plants we consume, the vegetables we consume. Back in the 1800s, when we are using horse manure and stuff like that, to, uh, you know, use that as fertilizer, well, that, or cow manure, or whatever the heck it is, they would, it would have all the trace elements in it, right? And, and the soils weren't depleted. You know, so today, even if you're getting organic, whole foods, and all that stuff, they're not going to necessarily have the trace minerals. More than likely, they won't. Unless you are getting from some small farmer that does stuff the old way 150 years ago. So, you know, this is an interesting study. I actually did put out stuff about boron a long, long, many years ago about it working for arthritis and that's really how you know it was mostly noted that if a shortage of boron will um, you know can cause arthritis and joint pain because it's not metabolizing the calcium and uh, magnesium and also boron a lack of it uh, can cause inflammation which is related to a lot of different diseases not just arthritis but here's the other thing increases free testosterone levels by almost 30%, decreases estrogen by almost 
And that could give you a serious boost in strength and energy and vitality and all this garbage. And that's only 10 milligrams of boron taken for seven days only. You know, you could take more than that, but, you know, that's what the study showed. And you now that might be a little experiment to try, because it is cheap. I think this is like six bucks for a hundred of these. So you're taking, I don't know, so you took nine milligrams, um, that would be three, three a day. That would be 21 of these, which would cost you two dollars. You know, see if that works. <laughs> and, um, you know, again, uh, even though boron sometimes is listed in your multivitamin or even in your mineral tablet, it's not anywhere near this level. And they have taken, they have given more than this, a lot more, and it increased, sometimes it increased free testosterone levels by 160%. You know, I don't know if you need to do all that, but, <laughs> but you know, that's interesting, right? You know, always err on the side of caution, but it is a fact that our products, our food uh, produce, our food products that we get in the stores today, even if you're going to Whole Foods and organic and all this garbage, they still, more than likely, very likely, are lacking in trace minerals. Sure, they might not be grown with pesticides and herbicides and all this, and they won't be grown with GMO seeds, fine. But that does not necessarily mean, and more than likely, you know, like I said, a plant does not require all these trace minerals to grow. We need them. We need them. They only need like three different things in three in different balances, depending on what the balance is. You know, like phosphorus and phosphates are one of them. But you know, <laughs> we need this stuff. And if the plant don't have it, where are you getting it from? You know, unless maybe you're getting grass-fed beef, maybe that might be another way, but how many people eat grass-fed beef? Most of our food is devoid of trace minerals. So, and one of the trace minerals is boron. Magnesium is another important one. Iodine is another important one. Potassium is another important one. Yeah, actually, because the potassium, sodium, Balance is really the important thing, but usually we are balanced the wrong way with too much sodium. Like salt is not necessarily that bad, it's just that we have an imbalance of potassium and, and salt, you know, sodium. Just want to note that too. So everything's a balance and everything works together. But if you're missing one thing, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it could be pretty bad. And sometimes that one thing, that's why sometimes you hear, Oh, I tried this one thing and it did everything for me. And uh, well, that's because you're missing that one thing. You could be missing a lot of iodine, and it could do everything for you. You could be missing magnesium. A lot of people, a lot of people are short of magnesium and iodine too, not just boron. But I figured I'd mention this because you know maybe that'll pique your interest about you know free testosterone levels increased by almost thirty percent, decreased estrogen by almost forty percent, and for females. It normalized. It normalizes the um, hormonal, sexual hormonal balances. It doesn't necessarily give you those results, but it normalizes them. And the other side of it is, too, with everybody, it inc decreases inflammation significantly, and it also works uh, with the arthritic and nervous system problems, which a lot of people have joint pain, and that's really where. That one doctor found out about the boron. Hey, hey, this stuff really worked like a miracle. Of course, our soils are depleted. But, you know, I'm not telling you to take borax soap. I know some people are going to chime in and say take borax soap. And I don't think it is. It's not toxic or nothing, but, you know. <laughs> the doctor got in trouble for saying that. So I'm telling you to um, take boron in a pre-approved, over-the-counter supplement. You know, but... But yeah, I acknowledge that that you know people do take borax also, and I doubt it's harmful. But you know, some people say not to take it, whatever. I mean, some people are telling me actually. I mean, I, there's a lot of strong evidence that it, probably the better way to take it is the borax. And boy, that is, you can get a box of that stuff. I mean, it'll last you ten years for crying out loud <laughs> for dirt cheap. And that was another reason probably the doctor got in trouble because. Uh, he alleviated a lot of patients' problems, and 
and would cut back these prescriptions like crazy. You know, it's sort of like there's a lot of things out there that can cure a lot of stuff, like garlic can and baking soda can do a lot of wonders. Borax can do a lot of wonders. Uh, borax, you know, which is even the, the borax, not the kind that's in here. Well, it's basically the same. We get the boron to be on the safe side, but, you know, I know some people are going to chime in and tell me about borax. I know. I know. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. And I agree. But, oh, here's Boots the Cat out there. Look at him. Saw him last night. <laughs> anyway, he needs some of this stuff. Bye.